In this short clip, we'll take a look at the cross-frame slash diaphragm definition tool that's here in the LeapBridge Deal Connect Edition software. Now, when you initially open this up, um, very similar to what we saw with the member groups tool, uh, you need to first add something to the list here and essentially have a name for the cross frame and it will automatically name this and if you want you can click on it and, and change the name at any time the next thing you'll probably want to do is come up here and tell the software uh, what type of a cross frame do you have is it a V uh, is it an X is it a V is it an inverted V or or inverted K as, as some agencies call it or do you simply just have a diaphragm so those are the four options that you have and it's possible uh, for these members uh, to enable and disable them. For example, you'll notice on this bottom strut right now it's disabled, but I can set that to yes and turn around and enable it. So you do have uh, those options primarily with the top and bottom struts, uh, but there are workarounds uh, for the cross frame members as well. So just as a quick sample here, uh, I'm going to tell it that this is going to be my uh, diaphragm number one and I'll set it to a type of diaphragm and then over here on the right I simply tell it where is it located relative to the girders so I give it a distance and tell it maybe it's uh, 12 inches down on the left and right side from the uh, top of the web uh, that you can also specify a beginning and ending offset so I'm gonna say it's one inch uh, from either end uh, of relative to the web and then for the section uh, this is where I can recall one of the sections that I had set aside in the standard sections list previously so this this tool over here is what you would need to do first and, and set aside those sections and then in here you simply pick from any of the sections that you've set aside you assign a uh, material to that section and then you tell the software what this line represents right here is that the center line of that uh, diaphragm is at the bottom is at the top where exactly is that located so I'm going to go ahead and set that to top and then you can set also vertical and horizontal uh, orientations and those are primarily for modeling purposes uh, for the purposes of the actual analysis those don't really matter once you have everything filled out, you can add uh, other cross frames here as needed. Uh, you do have options up here under uh, member options where you can define these beams to look exactly as the beams that you have in uh, your uh, actual structure. And then under custom sections here, this allows you uh, to define uh, your own custom sections to use uh, for the members if you're not using one of the standard shapes from the standard sections list. Thank you for watching this uh, short clip on cross frame and diaphragm definitions in LeapBridge Steel Connect.